I sometimes I'm like so good and I totally do tweets before the map begins and then other times I'm like, oh great, I got 30 seconds during the intro to quickly put this out. Oh. <laughs> so if you guys oh. want to be really cool, get on Twitter, go retweet this, share with your friends, let them know what's going on. Um, this guy might have a funny name here, but I will remind you all this is Puck versus Scarlet. Not, mm -mm, Puck is Schloopy apparently. Goes from Puck to Iron Man to Schloopy. Just pick some silly names, I don't know. But at any rate, this is still the winner's bracket. And it is a brand new best of three. I'm Rifkin, casting today with Complexity Centralisk. Yo. Yo. And why don't you kick off these intros, dude? Alright. So spawning in the top left, it is uh, the Protoss player that's playing against one of any's finest, IVD's Puck slash Loopy. I love the enthusiasm into that. Yeah. Uh, his opponent, in the bottom right, from Team Acers, of course, going to be the blue Zerg player, Scarlet. So yesterday I actually played Puck in a tournament and we played on this map in the first one because there was no vetoes so he just chose Dead Wing. Okay. And what Puck did was um, go for a really heavy gateway attack of basically very focused on sentries and stalkers. I'm not sure if um, that's what he's going to do with Scarlet. However, it is a possibility just because, uh, you know, yesterday ZVP Dead Wing Puck probably doesn't know. Well, you know, here's the thing though. Scarlet, of course, um, pretty much any matchup, if she can get a an edge way, you know, her mutalisks are her babies. But uh, <laughs> Puck, I've actually seen fight off a lot of Muta Corruptor in his time, and it seems to be one of the few things he can comfortably do. It's weird. I don't know if you feel the same way, but like Puck's not a character you can really classify. I feel with, like a one one standard strategy. Like you got players like Dezo, for example. You know, you know they're gonna play to the late game. They're not gonna two gateway proxy BS you or anything like that. But Puck's like yeah. this weird guy who can and will do everything. Um, yeah, I agree. It's uh, it's like what I do too. It's good, I think, to not be predictable. Exactly. Yeah, it's, I'd say it's one and, of the strengths. I mean, and the YOLO factor about Protoss being doing whatever they want helps that style well, too. Yeah, it's like which all yeah. in do I want to do today? Pick it yeah, out of my so, grab okay, bag. Here's the thing. Okay, sometimes when Tuck plays Scarlet in tournaments. He does like random, seemingly random attacks. Like he's getting plus one, but he attacks you with zealots that he hides before the plus one is done. So this kind of thing uh, can catch you off guard once in a while. I remember a game, Huck beat Scarlet on Merry Go Round with exactly what I just said. So, yeah. well, in this I... game, actually, I think Huck is a little bit. Uh, he's going for the gateway first into no scout and taking his natural, while Scarlet went for a hatch first and then a spawning pool and a really quick third following that. So I think Scarlet's opener is really strong versus this kind of style. Well, what I do like is, um, you know, I've seen a lot more of this too with protest players going for that quicker third and just doing a nice sick gateway wall off here at the top of this ramp. This is yeah, a map this where... Map so good for that. Well, what, what, I, what I was thinking about it though is like, one thing I'm seeing is, you know, I look at this map immediately and you think, okay, these bases are really exposed no matter where you take them. Whether it's the third here, whether it's the third here, but it actually ends up making for a much more solid fourth base for either player later on. Obviously not fast. Who's going to go fast for base? But um, there's a, there was a game during DreamHack Grubby played where he just super turtled on four bases versus Leonog and kicked a lot of ass. So I've seen some cool potential for defensive play out of Protoss players, but as you said, there's a good chance we might see some aggression here. Mm -hmm. Well, Puck's uh, doing the same opener he did versus me thus far. Um, in that he goes for the gate expand and then he doesn't make any zealots, he goes straight for stalkers. The good thing about that is when you open for a fast third as the zerg players like this, you're not going to have zergling speed for a long time. Oh, that was a fancy move there. Yeah, he saw the Greek tumor and he dived in for it. It's a nice little move too because you got to consider this is kind of one of the big things that not only just helps zerg in general, but it's like scarlet, right? You give her a creep, just a little bit of creep, you know, give her an inch, she goes a mile type thing. Yeah. Uh, this is a lot of killing power, though. If he can just kite the lings around before the queens get involved, he can he can easily snipe off these two queens. Mm -hmm. um, I do notice Puck has the probe really, really close to the um, warping point, which is which is what he did versus me too. He warps in from the base close to your third, and he did get a forge back home. So what he wants to do is get that plus one finish for sure. This way, Zalots and Stalkers are a lot stronger. And we'll just see, oh, he, he makes a Twilight Council, and more gases at the natural. So this isn't going to be a really crude gateway all-in on two gases, let's say. 
Yeah, it's, it's almost guaranteed going to be for Blink 2 over CLADTs. I mean, that's... I don't know why that's the style right now, but everybody's doing, like, plus three weapon upgrade, Blink Stalker on mass. And it's working a lot. Yeah, I remember the days where Protoss players complained that Stalkers are bad, and then... Now they're once like, you have so many of them, it's just... If you don't have the proper tech, it's already, you're just going to have a bad time. Yeah, and it's not that the Stalkers, stalkers themselves up. are so strong. It's, like, that you can't kill them off. They keep getting away with, like, five health, blinking to the back lines. You just retain them over and over yeah. and over. Basically, if you if you're on top of your micro, you can um, mitigate half the damage from the total life, like only the shield, and then you regenerate that slowly over time. While Zerg just loses units the whole time, so that's really strong, of course, with Blink Stalkers, as everyone knows. Okay, so this warp in what I'm thinking seven zealots, six zealots before he goes. Um, well, that times it with plus one. If Scarlet doesn't have roaches, this third base might actually go down. Wow, that Zergling that Scarlet just sent out saw a glimpse of the probe, however... Didn't see the final dip, line. Yeah, it didn't dip down or kill the oh, probe. Know, the, the creep tumor might. Oh no, oh. it comes back for round two. It sees the warp in the zealots, though. Well, that's, so, that was the other Zergling, so I guess that was a good catch. Oh, I think it's because the Mothership Core going to the Watchtower, so she pulled it back, but then right into the zealots. Okay, well here's the problem guys, with plus one weapon upgrades uh, finishing in just a second, these zealots get a two shot the lings. Plus one armor is pretty far off for Scarlet. Uh, Puck might try and hold onto the pylon, but this pylon is actually not that critical. I mean, it's closer and it's better of course, but he's got that other one established too. Yeah, and the longer he waits, um, the more reinforcements are going to be at home for Scarlet and also spine crawlers. Spine crawlers are actually really tanky, of course, and zealots don't do that great versus them, especially when queens can transfuse or zerglings can gnaw away at their uh, side blades or whatever. So now that three spines are finished, this probably won't do as much as no, Pug would have liked. I mean, even just forcing out like five spines like this is kind of huge. Recall goes down, she'll probably cancel the additional ones. Puck is forced to cancel his nexus at that third. Kind of yeah, sucks. That's not good for Puck at all. No, yeah, he, he really needs to get that base up quickly. Because yeah, Scarlet's going to start Puck, flooding. Yeah, Puck does not have any gas units, so he can't deal with mass zergling properly, especially because the zerglings are going to have 1-1 one, one out, so... Um, unless Puck was off his uh, thing soon. Oh, well, Scarlet actually is just going to chill at home for now. Instead of uh, trying to put on the pressure. I because one of the things. With. Is, yeah. With plus one armor on Zerglings, they don't get too shotted anymore. Yeah. Of and when Puck you have 65 Zerglings, 10 Zealots all of a sudden doesn't seem that scary. But it's not like it's going to be 65 with that full surround. I mean, Pac, one thing we can give him credit for, he's one of those few Protoss players you can rely to land those force fields. You yeah. know, some well, Protoss, you watch him panic, but... Yeah, Puck's really good at force fielding, it's just he only has three centuries. So, all you have to do is bait the force fields out, and then... Wait at the very least, off. you bait some yeah. force fields out. Uh, okay, Observer coming through the middle of the map. Warp Prism also on the way. This is something we're also seeing a lot more common in this matchup too. I'm loving the addition of like the Warp Prism, like the emphasis I should say on the Warp Prism harass, but uh, with Archon started up, he's just a little bit worried about this link count. I wonder if he'll put those in the Warp Prism or if he's actually just going to keep them for the defense. Probably for defense. Yeah. Or maybe even a fake push out. But back home, Scarlet is staying on... Uh, if yeah. And with two macro hatches, she's going to be able to make so many zerglings with spine crawlers that if Puck actually wanted to attack, it would not work out at all. Because 2 2 is also going to be done. Uh, there's going to be more queens. So right now, I don't know how I feel about them. I mean, this is this is like okay. Charge Lot Archon without the charge. This <laughs> is mm. an awkward composition to have because one of the big things, oh. guys, decent force fields here. Yeah, that was a bit scary because if Lings got trapped, they would have all died. Just they had to run through the maze, sort of. Yeah, uh, but I mean, the point about this is the Archons, they're really powerful versus Lings as long as they don't get surrounded. If they can get that surround off, Lings will actually chip Archons down, no problemo. And uh, for Puck, you know, normally you have that charge down to rush to the sides to create that sort of get a wall, the meat shield of the Zealots. But um, back at home, huge attack at this doorway, not a lot to defend. Yeah, Scarlet is trying to make Puck decide whether uh, you want to push in or go or back recall. home. Yeah, uh, this is kind of hard to... There's so many spines here. He can run past them, though. Go to the oh, third. he is. Oh, he's going to fight him because there's only three on the field at the moment. Uh, but he might lose his walls back at home. He's trying to put down additional walls behind this, putting down more pylons, layering this thick as he can. But this is uh, quite scary because, okay, he's pushing strong. Scarlet's wasted a lot of her links down this door. I mean, wasting a lot of time. There's 19 roaches on the way. These Archons are going to blast through anything that's bio. 
Um, oh, she needs fester. to have the Fester's Fungal and then wait for the Roaches to pop and then surround with the Zerglings and I think that would be okay, but as you can Puck see, can some of the units recall, died though. running around. I mean, he holds at home. He can recall once those, uh, once this gets too crazy. Back recall. No, Time Warp instead. Oh, Time Warp. I don't know how I feel about that, but he's still pushing strong here. I mean, this is still a lot of Zealots. I'm just surprised it's being so efficient without charge. However, most of the Archons have dissipated. Those were the real damage behind this army. Yeah, Roach Queen versus Zealots. Usually the Roach is gonna, oh, and the Roach and the Queens are gonna come out ahead in that one. I, sh I really like the Scarlet one for these early Infestors. Blink Stalkers or something get out of hand very quickly, but if you if you fungle them, there's no running away. They're forced yeah. to fight. 2-2 two -two upgrades on Zerglings too really chew up Stalkers. Oh, Ultra Scaven on the way. I didn't realize she had uh, snuck in Hive Tech while this was going on. Yeah, uh, she was going on um, a few Infestors with the Hive. And after defending this, it's really good because Scarlet actually has a fourth. Uh, I mean, one of the bases died, but the fifth is now the fourth, so you can mine from that if you wanted to. And all you have to do is deny the Protoss from taking their own base at the moment, while your Ultralisk Cavern is and your upgrades are finishing up. Uh, I need to get a force shot down here. This cannon, it's kind of oh. weak. Not the best wall. Okay. Yeah. Really mm. curious to see how he plans to utilize the warp prism here. I mean. For a forward pylon, I mean, standard, and that's cool. There's a lot of creep. You're not going to be able to physically put pylons down, but uh, he's actually got some behind enemy lines. So what he could potentially do is fly this into the main, start warping in, draw Scarlet there, and warp in towards the third with the pylons he has already established. I think it could be really cool, but... Yeah, well, at, at this time, the warp prism is still at home, so it'll be a, at least a minute before it can be put to use, if it actually gets sent out. Uh, he's actually just going to use it to try and take it forth. Uh, this is a little bit scary though, because we got to consider Puck did send out that Observer early on, but he's still not actually ever seen Scarlet's main at this point. Uh, which means he doesn't see the Hive Tech, he doesn't see the Ether Chambers, he doesn't know the Ultralisk Cavern. What he has right now, with a couple of mortals, okay. In Blink Stalkers, you can dance around the, the Ultralisk technically, but he's got no efficient way to deal with these lings. He's going to get yeah. fungled, and I think he's going to get wrecked. He's going <laughs> to come out of this good. Yeah, that's what I think too, especially when the Ultralisks are out, which they're already halfway uh, in production. But, oh, we're gonna see an attack here before the Ultras. Oh, recall. he needs to recall. There's no yeah, way to recall, recall, fight. recall, recall. Okay, yeah, that's so scary. that's good for Protoss. Um, I mean, the army is not that good, but the recall is good. So you save all your army instead of losing all your, your entire oh, army. Oh, but his fourth, his fourth is so exposed right now. There's a hole in that wall, too. These links could possibly run by if he gets distracted. Scarlet just gonna take advantage of the weak wall over here as well. Puck gonna be forced to fight, and he can't really fight right now. Links flood in. Fungal. Oh, he's gonna lose all the infestors. Yeah. Or she, rather. Wow, the ultras are getting blocked by the queens. See how slow that is? Okay, there we go. Yeah, ultras now, really clumsy. You know, if Puck can get to the top of this, those ultras can't funnel in, and that's gonna be huge. But he already loses his third. Good force fields locking every single unit here of the natural, but does he have the DPS for it? It's gonna be the big question. Scarlet's pushing hard. Actually, no, never mind. Disengage with the queens and ultras. Take that yeah, back. It seems a bit wasteful by throwing away all those units just for Nexus. However, um, back home, where your Spire is getting started, so if you can squeeze out some Brood Lords with your ultras and your queens, Puck's gonna not gonna beat that with just a gateway army, let's say. Yeah, uh, you know, he did already take that fourth, so I mean, losing his third just kind of puts him right back on square one. Uh, does need to reestablish the, there we go, the Nexus as soon as he can. Uh, he is scary though, the Greater Spire is on the way, and once again, Puck doesn't have knowledge of this. You know, that was a good hold, playing blindly into that push, but, I mean, Broodlords, the best way to deal with them is going to be Tempest, and Puck has no Stargate tech. Oh, seven Broodlords are on the way. I don't think Puck has enough here to, I don't think say, he does either. two bases before the Broodlords are finished. Well, he's gonna do what he can here. Lots of transfuses going down on this one ultra. It's being oh, hammered away by the immortals, but the transfuses are insane. However, the immortals and the archons. Very yeah, oh, that is also out of Rulers energy. Old rulers. Oh, can he get the? It's on cooldown. He can't blink underneath them. This is gonna suck. Forced to back away okay. from this. Oh, that was close. Oh, losing the mothership board. Hmm. No more chance of a recall. That's gonna be really unfortunate, actually. Um, but does Puck throw down Stargates, or does he just go heavy all in on this? Guys, I mean, you see the brood lords. You now know it's available. How do you react? I'd say he has to get Tempest. Yeah, I mean, this Tempest just... aren't even that expensive. Well, what I'm wondering is if like he identifies it's still low count, he might just try blinking under them with the stalkers, right? But that's not going to be efficient by any means. Not as not versus ultras and queens. Yeah, like exactly. This. And are there any clusters left? Oh mm -hmm. no, warping on the main. Oh. Links flood to the links flood to the main. These are these are. But pretty then you can just warp in the main. So. 
Yeah, but let's not forget, Scar's still on like level 3 weapon upgrade. Zell's good here, but Pope's could have died. He was a little bit later with that. Still focused here in the middle of the map. More Broodlords on the way. Storm gonna be the choice. Interesting. Still bleeding out in the main, never quite fully cleaned these up. I'm surprised, you know, Scarlet, she, she got away with this without the Adrenal Glands upgrade. Something we're seeing a lot of Zerg players start utilizing more. Like, you would just, you never saw this, before, like, in the last, like, five months, but something clicked recently, and we're seeing Adrenal Glands a lot more, but not out of Scarlet. So these Lings, which are already very potent, could be even scarier. That's true. I think it's really good to get uh, the Adrenal Glands, just because it's like a free attack upgrade, let's say. Yeah. Since it does give you the extra, or the less cooldown. Um, now the Warp Prism you were talking about earlier is making its way to uh, Scarlet side of the map, where it's, it's going to start warping in 10 zealots at once. Hey, what's really nice though, Ultras, Broodlords, Queens, these are not going to be quick to the response. Lings will run around, but anything that Puck warps in, those Lings are going to wreck anything that comes to defend against them. Uh, it's only really these big, heavy, slow units that she has that's going to scare them away. Oh, the Warp Prism is going to oh. go down before it can unload. Yeah. A little unfortunate. Yeah. It's mostly zealots though, so I mean, to be yeah. honest, just minerals. Zealots, the Protoss is Zerglings. Well, lots more Archons coming in. You know, I, I was expecting to see a lot of Templar banking up energy. He's only really got about three. Oh, sorry, I take that five. Some decent storms available behind this. Okay, as long as Scarlet doesn't throw away the ground army into that before the Broodlords get this, gets there, assuming she wants to attack, it's gonna be. Um, well, she could siege up. I mean, hold position behind this third, just launch, launch, launch. There's no yeah. way Puck wants to engage. You need the Broodlords. You can't throw your ground units in first, or they're just gonna die. Oh, he's gonna. So Puck many transfuses oh, oh. available still, though. We'll see these Ultras. One of them's uh, gonna live for uh, a while, but the other two might just die here real quick, as we see. Broodlords gonna do what they can. Instant army in a can. But even if Estin Terran's coming out, Scarlet's bleeding out everything she has. But without any proper anti-air, these Broodlords might just end up taking this in the end. Yeah, there's no answer for them besides Stalkers, and they were shooting at other things. There are a hell of a lot of Stalkers, though. But as oh, you pointed out, costumes. you don't want to blink into... Yeah. Oh, the blink. Okay. There well, we actually, go. there's only one Ultra here, though. So the blink's maybe not that bad of an idea. So it's kiting mm -hmm. this away. Puck's only sniped one Broodlord so far with the blink, but okay. now... Oh, he's right just, under it. He's like one stalker shy of getting these, so he's actually bleeding out a lot of stalkers trying to split the DPS here. Ah, this is really unfortunate. That was so many stalkers that go away. Puck is in a lot of trouble. You can't cost effectively deal with the Zerg Hive army such as this with only gateway units. Yeah, I feel this fleet beacon's coming down like eight minutes too late. Mm -hmm. It is a bit too late, fortunately. I mean, the first time he saw this when he pushed across the map, and that recall was forced. That's when we should have seen the fleet beacon come down, right? But uh, decent snipe oh, for fungal growth is really gonna be the bane of his existence here. Yeah. He tried to snipe a broodlord with the blink, but with fungal you can't retreat. So he lost more than he wanted to um, just to get at one broodlord, and now he's uh, he's down, let's say, 80 supply. Yeah. So and it's not like stocks oh, are cheap. Oh, more dancing. What is this? DDR, like, today is so much... Scarlet is like a, uh, I don't know, dancing queen, I guess. Wow, oh, more dancing queen. <laughs> so supreme. Yes, no, oh, she DTs. was a dancing no, overseer. queen. DTs Ooh. are gonna kill the Ultras and the Queen, so you better make an Overseer. Well, Puck's wasting a lot of time with the Broodlings, though. <laughs> yeah. But even well, then, it's not like DTs yeah. can shoot up, so GG. Exactly. Scarlet will take game number one. Wow.